I think the most important thing about Easter, if I had to pick one, I think is the fact that we can have a relationship with God that is entirely open and entirely fine and entirely good. I'm Catherine and I work part-time for Africa in Lamishin and part-time for my church. Um, I, my parents are Christian parents so I've been going to church since like day not really um, but I became a Christian when I was four. So I've been taught about God all my life um, and my parents brought me up to know him uh, and my mum asked me one day do you know do you know how to become a Christian do you know what it means to have a relationship with God um, and I said I didn't know how to be- become a Christian but I wanted to be a Christian he said it's you know you just need to tea. ask Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life and I did so it's not been easy being a Christian my whole life at all the first really difficult patch I had was when I moved from being in a Christian school to being in kind of a normal state school where it was you know relatively rare to be a Christian because all of a sudden the kind of everything that I'd taken for granted very few people were believing anymore and that really rocked me um because it wasn't just something I could assume was kind of the way that everyone thought the way stuff was so I found that quite difficult and I kind of had to I guess I had to work through whether I still believed in God, even though everyone else around me wasn't anymore. God doesn't make your life magically okay just because you believe in him. Sometimes he lets you go through stuff that's really difficult because actually in the end it'll be better for you. I haven't really felt the need to look into the evidence that Jesus rose from the dead, but I think that's because everything else in Christianity seems so true to me. I mean, granted, I grew up you know, with all these Bible stories, which included the story of Jesus dying on the cross and, and raising from the dead. And, you know, as a, as a kid, you you grow up believing what you're told is true. Um, but I don't ever remember having a time when I've doubted that. But I think it's just because the whole thing, the whole picture of Christianity, the whole of what the Bible says, just has so much integrity that... I've never really felt the need to doubt any part of it. So the best things about being a Christian are knowing God and having that relationship that is free and open and perfect. Not just for the, because of having a relationship that is fear-free, but also the person that I have it with. Um, knowing that I have that relationship with the person who has made me who has made everything else, who, uh, like, is just so infinite in so many ways and so infinitely good in so many ways, yet still chooses to have, to know me and to love me is just amazing. But also related to that is knowing that one day I'll be able to be with him forever and that everything is going to be made right in the end everything that is wrong in this world is going to get dealt with and taken away and everything that is right in this world is going to be even better forever. Yeah, so Easter is really important because it does mean that I can have a relationship with God where I can be completely open and I'm not afraid and and I know that he loves me and I know that like I'm not perfect and that's okay because Jesus has dealt with everything that's in me that isn't right. It means that I don't have to hide anything from God and I know that he loves me as I am. And it's so freeing because it means that I can admit to my faults and admit to my mistakes and come to him and know that he will make me better. It means that God isn't some really horrible, scary person who's waiting for you to trip up just so he can... I don't know, pour his judgment on you and make you feel bad for it. It means that nothing can affect my relationship with him anymore. Um, And that I'm just free to enjoy him and to know him and to be known by him and, and love that. I think the biggest way that Easter has changed how I see this pandemic is that I'm not afraid of dying 
that's basically what it boils down to. Because as much as I can say I'm probably not in the at-risk group, actually that still doesn't deal with the fact that, you know, but what if? But actually I know that whatever happens to me, I don't need to be scared of dying, which is, you know, probably the worst thing that can happen to you on this earth. I think it's because it's actually death is kind of the gateway to everything being perfect. For me as a Christian, I know that when I die, actually I leave all of the suffering and all of the horribleness and all of the stuff I I see within myself that I don't like and I want to be gone and all of that stuff actually I know will be gone because at the point when Jesus takes me home to be with me in heaven actually that's the point when I'll be with him forever and I will start living. It means that I'll start living in an even closer relationship with him because it's I will be able to see him face to face in a way that I can't right now. Um, it means the beginning of, of living with him face to face forever and so actually the worst that can happen to me in this pandemic is that I would catch the virus, I'd end up in intensive care and I would eventually die but actually for me that's not really a bad thing. I mean it won't be very nice getting to that point and I won't enjoy it and that kind of worries me more but <laughs> um, if there's someone watching this and something that I've said means that they want to find out more about Jesus or they want to know more about God or any more of this, um, then I say please do get in touch with me. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you've got or if I can't answer them I can show you where you can find answers. <laughs> My church is going to be doing an Easter service at half ten on Sunday morning. Um, you will see yours truly in it at parts as well um, but also a lot more um, about Jesus and who he is, what he has did, done on Easter, why Easter is so important and why Easter is the best news that you could ever hear about. So I've already shared a link to our Easter service on my Facebook wall which you can go and find it there um, and you can find it on my church's website at www.smwp.co.uk